In this video, we'll discuss prisms, cross sections, and nuts. You may recall from your middle school geometry that a prism is really a three-dimensional figure. And when we say three-dimensional figure, some kind of length, some kind of width, some kind of height that has exactly two congruent parallel faces that are called bases. This is important to know. The base of any prism or the bases of any prism have to meet two requirements. They have to be both congruent and parallel. This is important to know because we're going to name all of our prisms based upon the shape that their base is in. So in this picture here, the green shaded polygons represent the bases. They're parallel and congruent. Over here, again, the green uh, shaded polygons represent the bases. They're congruent and they're parallel. So because the base is in the shape of a pentagon, we say that this first one is a pentagonal prism. Because the base of this one is in the shape of a triangle, we say that this is a triangular prism. Now you might be wondering about what those other sides are called. Those other faces that make up uh, the prism are called lateral faces. So the lateral faces are rectangles and they make up the other sides of that prism. All right, so let's go ahead and look at some examples where they want us to name each of the prisms figured. And in this example, they've actually shaded in the base of each one of our prisms. So in this case, I would call this either a rectangular or a square prism. And we're going to be working a lot with regular polygons. So I'm not sure whether they mean for us to that to that be a rectangle or a square. The base of this prism is a pentagon, so this would be a pentagonal prism. And the base of the last polygon is a hexagon, making this a hexagonal prism. Now sometimes it's helpful to take a very thin slice of one of these three-dimensional solids and look at it. And that very thin slice is called a cross-section. The formal definition says a cross-section is any intersection of a solid, so a three-dimensional shape, with a plane. But again, I, I find it helpful to think about it as being a very thin slice. So the slice that we're going to obtain here which I would say is a vertical cross-section because the plane that's intersecting um, the solid is a vertical plane, that slice is going to be a square. In the second case, the plane that's intersecting the solid is a horizontal plane, so I would call this a horizontal cross-section. And he's going to be in the shape of a triangle. So that's a little bit about cross-sections. The last thing that we need to take a look at is net. And a net is just a two-dimensional figure that we can fold up in order to make some kind of a solid. Or you might think about a net is what happens when we take the solid and we flatten it out. So in the example, they want to know which net will create the figure below. Well, in looking at our solid, it has pentagonal bases. So it's a pentagonal prism. And it has five rectangular faces. And I'm going to use that vocabulary because that's going to be important as we move through the unit. So I need to go find the net that has two pentagonal bases and five rectangular faces. The first one definitely isn't it. He's got a pentagonal base, but only one. The second guy looks like he has a hexagon for his base, so I don't like that one. And the third one has the two pentagonal bases, followed by the one, two, three, four, five rectangular faces. 
which means I like choice C. All right, so that's pretty much it for prisms, cross sections, and nets. As always, I don't want you to run away. I want you to take a few minutes, think about what you've seen and what I've talked about, and remember what are going to be the important key ideas that you have to take away with you from this video. And that's what I want you to think about here um, on page five.